The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Variety Channel. For more information about our network and to check our additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericavariety.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management. Welcome to Disability Matters with your host, Joyce Bender. All comments, views, and opinions expressed on this show are solely those of the host, guest, and callers. Now the host of Disability Matters, here's Joyce Bender. Wow. That's how I have to start this show. I mean, this is unbelievable who we have as our guest today. You are all going to love it. You're going to be telling people to go back and listen to the archives. This is going to be one of your absolute favorite shows that I've had in 11 years. Because we have three-time Grammy-nominated jazz saxophone player Ski Johnson and vocalist superstar Trevor Holland. That's right. We have them on the show today. And guess what? They care about us. They're dedicated to people with disabilities. That's why we're going to support them. Ski and Trevor, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you Thanks. so much. So, Ski, first of all, wow, I can't believe we have someone of your stardom <laughs> on our show today that would take time to do this for the disability community. Maybe you can start by telling everyone why. Well, I well because I care deeply about um, people with disability. Um, you know, I, as, I, as I explained to you when we had our meeting, and when we first met, you know, I, I suffered from alopecia when I was young, and I was bullied, and and um, being because I was different, and it changed my life. It shaped me into the person who I am today, and um, you know, I, I want to give back, and I and, and I just want to say to all the people that are disabled and 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 experiencing any being treated differently, you know, I got your back. I'm here for you. You know, that's why I'm here. You know what I mean? Can you believe that? Hey, all you young people with disabilities and adults with disabilities, Ski Johnson has your back. Is that not amazing? Better go out right now and download from iTunes Ski Johnson. And we also have uh, Trevor, vocalist Trevor Holland, with us today. So I'm going to ask you first, uh, Trevor, how about you? Why did you become involved with the disability community? Well, um, first off, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity for you know letting us, let, letting us you know get our voices heard. And uh, my daughter, my youngest daughter, was born with um, a cleft palate and uh, coarctation of the aorta and lung disease and hearing loss and and so. You know, it hits home for me because, you know, it's my daughter. And um, I just want to be able to, 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 to help anyone or just back, back up anyone that has, you know, any type of challenge or any dis- type of disability or any type of, you know, situation that, 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 that makes them different. And, but at the same time, being different is, is beautiful, is wonderful. You know, it, it makes you, it, it gives you character. And when I look at my daughter every day, I, I, I see the the the, the bright, star, shining star that she's becoming, and it just does my heart really good. I mean, it, it's it's hard because you know we have to go through all these these things, and she's always in you know she's always at the doctor. She's all she actually she's scheduled for surgery uh, on the 19th of March, and she's had a surgery every year of her life, and. Uh, she's four now and she'll be five in June. And I just really, I really, I'm really inspired by her. Um, and anytime I can lend my, my talent or my time or, you know, my effort to, 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 to people with disabilities, I always will do it. I'll always be an advocate for disability because, 
it, it hits home for me. I have I have a child with, with special needs, and so that's that's really, you know, the main reason why I do what I do. Yep. And I got to tell you, I met Ski Johnson and Trevor Holland. They're serious about this. I mean, Almost they are serious about it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> definitely. So, very see, serious. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying very serious, yeah. <clears throat> well, Ski, when you told me your story of how and why you first became involved playing the saxophone, why you did. I, I just find this story so inspirational. And you know, folks, it's not that like he was born wealthy and, you know, someone gave him the saxophone. I mean, it's quite a story that caused him to play. And not only that, how that saxophone saved him. So, Ski, I wonder if you would tell our listeners your story. Well, well, what what happened is when I was uh, 12, as I said earlier, I suffered, had a disease called alopecia where I lost all the uh, hair on my body, my eyelashes, eyebrows, um, everything. So can, if you can imagine a kid 12, 13 going through puberty and, you know, starting to, you know, to get to know itself a little bit, you know, it was pretty hard. It was pretty rough. So, I, you know, I, I dibbled and dabbled in things I shouldn't have done and, you know, because I was lost, mm-hmm. and being different sometimes can make you make you feel lost. But what what happened is music. I found my mother introduced me to music, which changed my life, and I, I got engulfed in it. and And I started, um, you know, practicing and dedicating all my time into that, in, in, into into the the art. And it, ultimately, it saved my life because there are many other things I could have been doing. Um, and I probably would have been in jail or um, or uh, in prison from lashing out at those who harassed me and, and those who, 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 who disrespected me, treated me so awful uh, as a child coming up. You know, um, you know, and that's how it saved my life. Wow. And you started playing the saxophone. Why that instrument? Well, I started the clarinet. I wanted, I wanted to be in the Benny Goodman of, uh, of jazz, and and later, I, you know, for marketing reasons, I, I switched over to the saxophone player, saxophone, and just relentless, relentlessly pursued it. I I auditioned for Duke Ellington School with the School of the Arts. I I went to Howard University, uh, Virginia Commonwealth University, and. Uh, you know, my first record came out in 1988, and um, nine albums later, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Nine albums later, here, still standing. Mm-hmm. Still standing is right. How about you, Trevor? H- how did you get involved? Well, um, I-, I-, I come from a, I mean, a long, long, long lineage of of of, of musicians in my family, and my, my, my grandmother in particular, who raised me since I was two years old. Uh, she was a renowned gospel singer, and she would take me around to her rehearsals and to her shows and such, and I just really, I got, I got the interest then, but then when I was about nine, nine or ten, uh, I just re- I got introduced to Michael Jackson, and I just really uh, wanted to emulate him and wanted to do his moves and found myself able to, you know, hit the notes and 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 sing the songs, and uh, I just really just was interested in being being him, really, <laughs> to be to be truthful. I wanted to be him, and so, but as as time time went on, I got a little older. I started to develop my own, you know, my own style, my own my own way of going about my art, and I just like like as as Ski said, I just got in, 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 enveloped in it. I just really. I just just dove in feet first and and just never came up. I just I love music. I love the the the, the, the artistry of it. I love the the whole process of, of of actually sitting down, concentrating, writing a song, making something out of nothing. It, it's the creation of it. it it's just a a, a mind blowing thing for me. And um, you know, like I said, my grandmother uh, recently passed in '09, and. Now I, I I I get a chance to do this album with Ski and you know 
it, it's just an honor because I'm, I'm able to continue what she did. And maybe not the same road she took, cause, but there's many different roads to the same destination. And so I'm just really, really honored to be a part of this whole project. And and it's, and, and he allowed me to express myself. He, he, he gave me a platform to 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 to, to um, display, you know, my writing skills and, and and my composing skills, and I just really appreciate it. And uh, and now, you know, we're into this. We're into the what fourth the fourth single of the album, and you know, we've shot and we've done videos and we've, we're, we're getting the message out there. And it's just a beautiful ride right now. I'm just really, I'm really appreciative. I'm really humbled by this whole ordeal. And now to be affiliated with you guys is even, it's like the icing on the cake. And, you know, you're you're giving us this opportunity. It's just, it's just a humbling experience for me. But I've been trying to do music and, and trying to be, you know, the best I can be for about, I don't know, 20 something, 27, 28 years now. And, and it doesn't get old for me. And I'm just going to keep continuing to push and push and push, and believe in myself and believe in my team, and we're going to keep on we're going to keep on banging those hits. <laughs> well, you know what? How did you meet Ski? Uh, funny story there. Um, <laughs> real funny. You, your listeners should get a kick out of this one. Uh, our children go to the same school, and uh, her, his daughter, and my son were in the same class, and they were on a field trip to a uh, a farm, a pumpkin patch, actually. And um, we were all on the bus, a, 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 a yellow bus, the, the school bus. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he was having a conversation with someone on his phone, I think, and I think I kind of, like, over overheard the, uh, a little bit of it, and I kind of knew what he was talking about. So I just, you know, introduced myself. We just, you know, right then and there. And then from there... You know, he told me to Google him, Google his name. <laughs> he told me to Google him, so I did, and you know, all this stuff came up, and then, you know, I, I realized he was, you know, he was major, and you know, we just we hit it off, and we we we, we talked, and we we vibed, and you know, we went on the field trip with the kids, and ate lunch, and picked pumpkins, and you know, had fun, and about three weeks went by after that that we finally, you know, made made a connection. And then we sat down and we had a meeting, and the rest, I guess, as they say, is history. <laughs> that was about three years ago. Wow. Well, yeah. listen, we have a, a question for you, Ski, from a Linda in Rhode Island. Okay. And here's what it is. Uh, first of all, Mr. Johnson, thank you so much for what you're doing. I hope you know you are giving inspiration to young people with disabilities that have none. My question for you is, do you go on tour very often? And if so, how could we follow that? Well, yes, we've been we've been touring for off and on for the last couple of years. But right now we're gearing up. I mean, we're hoping. I mean, we're in talks actually with doing something with uh, AAPD where we can do a tour and bring awareness to all these things uh, throughout the country, to the issues that uh, folks with disabilities face. And, I, and, and um, you know, Joyce, you know I'm, I'm, I'm very serious about it. Um, you know, I, I'm not one who talks. If, if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Um, and um, I guess to answer the question, it, there, we're working on one coming real soon. And it's going to be for, for for folks with disabilities. It is going to be to bring about awareness and to support folks with disabilities. But at the same time, folks that are not disabled are welcome too. So the two can, you know, because I think ignorance is a big deal in this in this situation. And I, when you don't know, you don't know. Mm-hmm. You know, and nobody's looking for, you know, folks with disabilities are not looking for uh, a, a handout. They're not looking for pity. They want to be just respected and treated just like anybody else, and yeah. that's all I wanted when I was young. When I was treated, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, having alopecia and losing your hair compared to someone not having an arm or can't see may 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 be may may not be that bad, but to a twelve year old child, is everything. Yeah. So, um, but we're here to support you guys, and 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 you can bet on that, and you can take that to the bank. <laughs> 
Well, I have no doubt that you're serious about it because you have followed up. Um, and, Trevor, I know that you accompanied Ski on his most recent CD. Uh, and, mm-hmm. by the way, what is the name of that? Uh, Underdogs on Top. Can you repeat that, please? Underdogs on Top. Okay, and that can be downloaded from iTunes, I assume. Yes. And that's very okay. important, Underdogs on Top. Mm-hmm. That name is not given to the city uh, by mistake. Underdogs uh-huh. on Top. Yeah, I love that. That is really, that is a good motto for all the young people with disabilities. Exactly. That really you is. Know, that is awesome. Exactly. That's, what we exactly. need, that's what we need to call the tour, Underdogs on Top Tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mm-hmm. love that. Yeah, that is really good, Underdogs on Top. Well, tell me, um, Trevor. Yes. What has this meant to you to be partnered with Ski Johnson? Oh, man, this is, this is. I mean, beyond leaps and bounds. I mean, it's just been an amazing journey because, you know, I was I was kind of drowning in obscurity in the music business for a little while. I was I was I was to, uh, tossing to and fro. I was going from this band to that band, just trying to trying to find my own way. And uh, you know, I, I can't say I was lost, but I knew where I wanted to go. But it was just hard for me to get there. And you know, Ski came along, and he saw, you know, he saw the vision and the and the and the the, the inspiration in me to to give me an opportunity, and and vice versa. I saw inspiration in him. I love the way he plays. I love the way he he, he manipulates his saxophone and 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 the notes. I just I really loved it, and it, it was a it was a match. I guess they say match made in heaven because you know our children you know, brought us together. It wasn't a thing that I just knew. I already knew Ski or anything. I, I never, I never met him. I, ne- I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I had heard of, I had heard of him, but I never really met him before. So, you know, the way that we met, you know, it, it just really made me go totally all in with it because it, it just, it was humbling for me because he, you know, this guy, he's of this stature. He, you know, he, he's, He's who he is, and he and he saw something in me to 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 give me an opportunity. I just really appreciated it, and so to show my appreciation and to show, you know, my my, uh, you know, the, show the show show him that I I, I wanted I, I appreciated what he did. I worked hard. I wanted to show him the hard work that I had in me to to make this project uh, uh, come to fruition. And and then it did, and it did in a major way, and I'm I'm very proud of it. I'm very excited about it, and you know that it, it's just it's been it's been everything to me to to, to be a part of this project. Well, <clears throat> certainly partnered with a good person. Oh, definitely, yeah, thank definitely. You. <laughs> well, let me talk about something that I thought was unbelievable, and that's when I first heard, "Hey, you'll never believe this." Ski Johnson wants to come to our Disability Power and Pride uh, AAPD inaugural ball. And I said, you got to be kidding me. No, no, he called us and wants to attend. Why, Ski? What made you do that? And also talk about how that ball compared to all the other millions you were invited to. Well, first of all, again, you know, Being different resonates with me with uh, the um, the disability community, you know, because I've always been different, and it hasn't been by choice. It's just how 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 I ended up, and that resonated with me. And and I'm and I am a person through my foundation, <coughs> which is on my website, um, Jazz for Life. I give back. I, you know, I, I support loads of organizations, but it was something about the disability organization that really resonated with me, and that's why, I, you know, I wanted to be a part of it. Now, when I got to, when I arrived there and saw the 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 the, the vibe, if you will, in the room, 
it was extraordinary. I mean, everybody, it was a party atmosphere. I mean, when they told my agent oh, that it was a party atmosphere, I was like, wow. They, and, 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 and I will mind you, I, I did 10, we, Trevor and I, we did like 10 inaugural balls that weekend. And hands down, this was the best. Definitely. And, and I'm not, and I'm not uh, patronizing either. I'm, I mean, it was the best. And here's why. Because a lot of the other balls were <clears throat> very um, snooty. And I'll be honest, I mean, I'm going to keep it real. They were very snooty. They weren't down to earth. Um, I mean, I had so much fun dancing with everybody. And just, I mean, I, I, I felt at home. I really did. I felt at home. And where the other balls, I had to be, they wanted me to be the Ski Johnson, the celebrity. You know the big time, so they, you know they wanted that. They wanted me to have that, that uh, put, keep up persona. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I and I didn't like that. So, so that that's why they were they were different. I mean, because uh, and 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 then I'll say it again. I I really really had a really good time there. And so did I. Yeah. How I about you, it. Trevor? What did you think of it? Oh, I loved it. I loved it. It was it was. I mean, it was a party. I mean, it was, it really was. Everyone was having a great time. Everyone was uh, social and interacting with each other and, and, and hugging and kissing and, and, and just, you know, loving each other. And it was just a really good, positive energy. And, you know, it, it, it was excitement. It was it was electric in there. And, and I just felt it. I felt it from the time we got there to the time we left. You know, I really didn't want to leave. And and I just you know I had a great time. I had you know I met a lot of good people. I met a lot of contacts and did a lot of networking and and it, it was just everything you would want in a gala. It was it was everything and more, <laughs> definitely. And I will have to say, um, I was only to one other gala, and I know exactly what Ski is talking about. Mm-hmm. Because there is such a difference when people are real, you know, yeah. when yeah, they're absolutely. real and they are down to earth. And, and as you said, it's just love. It's loving, loving each other. And mm-hmm. I cannot begin to tell you what it meant to everyone, Ski, that someone of your celebrity status would come to that ball. I mean, you have no idea what that meant to everyone. But I remember you met a few young people you had your picture with, and I, I know you put that out on uh, Twitter. I did, and I, mm-hmm. I put it out that, uh, you know, it may, it, there was one young lady, and, and I don't recall her name in particular, but she was in a uh, wheelchair, and we danced a little bit, and we took a beautiful picture. And I tell you, I put that picture up. I tweeted it to to my. I think I got like twenty nine thousand followers, and I tweeted it to them, and I put it on Facebook. And I tell you, out of all the pictures I put up, me with this young lady, I got the most likes and comments. Mhm. You know. Is that I, right? It, it, oh yeah, and I think it said something. Yeah, I I think it does too. I think it was just wonderful. Um, Trevor, you talked about your daughter. Would yeah. you say that absolutely she's your inspiration then for everything you're doing? Uh, definitely, most definitely. My daughter Isabella is is, I mean, she's she's fire. You know, she she, you wouldn't know that she is you know in the condition that she's in because of her personality. She just, you know, she's outgoing. She's you know, she's a butterfly. She just, she's an eagle, actually. She just flies. And she definitely inspires my every move, everything that I do, every every note that I sing, every every word that I write, every lyric that I write, I, I, it's, it's about her. Because, you know, I I don't know where I'd be without her. And, you know, my, my wife and my, my other children, you know, they, my family, they have, supported me in everything that I've done and you know for my wife to give me such a beautiful daughter and uh, uh, it's just awe inspiring I mean I I really I'm at a loss for words when I speak about her because you know I get I get choked up because you know I know what she went through to be to to, to be born you know I, I know 
to, to be here now four years later, you know, she was in the hospital, you know, for the first year of her life. I mean, she didn't even come home. So, you know, to see her go through that and, and, and come out of that, and you know we're not out the woods yet, but still, you know she's in she's in school now with her siblings, and you know she, she she's learning and she's able to communicate and she's able to, you know she's able to sign, she knows sign language, she knows Spanish, you know she knows English. It's just amazing to watch her grow, and and become you know her her own little herself, and it's just. She definitely inspires everything that I do, everything that I, every move that I make has Isabella's name all over it. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. And I know you mean that because I remember when you were talking about it and her, and I know how much that means to you. Uh, we have another question here, Ski, for you from Nancy in Kansas. And the question is, Ski, uh, I just want to thank you for reaching out to the entire disability community, as I know that you are a star, and very few stars will do this. What I wanted to ask you is, do you think music is a good profession for young people with disabilities? Absolutely. <clears throat> what, what, what music did for me, and again, <clears throat> I, I, you know, uh, you know, I, I thought about suicide many times when I was young, being different, and what it did, it built self-esteem. It, mm -hmm. it, it, um, it, it built, it, it, it built confidence in making, you know, in who you are. So I, I you know, and, and, and every, every person in the world has talent. I don't care who you are and what your circumstances, you have talent. You know, and, and and music is a way of touching people and spreading a message and, and spreading your, your, your joy, your your you know, um you know, making someone smile, you know. So I, mm -hmm. I would encourage everyone to get into music, get involved. It, that wants to that wants to. I mean, it, it's <clears throat> it's a very spiritual um a very spiritual uh um weapon, if you will, to use. To, to mm -hmm. combat against any issues you may have. Um, so, yes, to answer your question, I, I, I would encourage that most definitely. Do you feel the same way, Trevor? I feel exactly the same way. Without music, I mean, it's an outlet. It's a it's a way to uh, express yourself. It's a way to let out, let get you know, get your issues, get your issues off of you, if you will. Um, you know, and to a, if you're able to overcome the challenge of, of, you know, picking up the instrument and, and learning it, once you've learned it, it, it becomes, it becomes magical. And, 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 and then you become a musician, a, a, a magician, if you will, because you can take a frown and make it a smile. You can take a tear of, of sadness and make it a tear of joy. And, you know, God is with you, he, he, you know, it, it, and it's just, it, it, it makes you, it gives you appreciation for life and for, and for, and for, and for, and, 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 and for other, and for helping other people. It's, and it makes you a servant, you know, you become a servant and, you know, it's a way for you to really, um, be all you can be if you want, if you will. But like I said, I would definitely, and I would say yes to, I would say definitely yes Music is a very, very wise and very, very inspirational and 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 the the, the best choice to, for a career. Yes, definitely, definitely. Well, here we have Jerry from Florida, uh, and by the way, I appreciate how all of you have sent in emails prior to the show. Um, the question is, Ski, I have a question for you. I'm sure you know about the unemployment of people with disabilities being so high. Why do you think people do not want to hire people with disabilities? Ignorance. Mm -hmm. It's pure ignorance. When you don't know, you don't know. And, 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 and it's a shame because if they just took the time to, to get to know someone, and have a conversation. You, you might 
you might feel different or whatever you were thinking before you understand how how um, what you were thinking was not what it was what the situation really is mm-hmm. and and I, and I and I and I and I and I say again that's why we want to you know do a disability tour we want we want to we want to bring about awareness you know um it needs to change. It needs, it's something that needs, and I and I believe it, you know there are a lot of good folks that are working hard to 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 make these changes. But I I think it, this movement needs to, you know, it needs to uh, uh, be uplifted. It needs to it, it needs to go on the on the, completely on the forefront. Definitely. And by the way, while we're talking about that, tomorrow, February twenty seventh, is the virtual career job fair that Bender Consulting Services has put on. So just go to the website, BenderConsult.com, and you'll hear about it. But my point is, don't give up. Don't give up. I know I've met people with a master's degree, brilliant, but because they were blind would not be hired, or because they were deaf would not be hired. But I'm behind you. You can tell Ski and Trevor are behind you. But I will work on employment till the day I die. So do not give up. As Ski said, just because someone else is ignorant, that does not mean we can overcome it and succeed. So don't give up. Go to go to that uh, virtual career fair. Put your resume there. Never know what's going to happen because we have a lot of federal agencies working with us. The president is very committed to this. The first lady's father had MS, so I'm telling you, get on that mm-hmm. virtual career fair. Yeah. Don't give up at what you're Never doing. Never give up. Never. Never give up is right. Okay, we have um, Sam from Massachusetts, and this may seem like a strange question, but Sam wants to know, Ski, do you believe most people, when they become famous, change? No, I, I believe a, a, um, a, a certain percentage do, because they, the, well, for many different reasons, but I think largely because they're not grounded before the mm. they they get the fame. You know, mm. um, where I where I come from, I I I, I come from the bottom, <laughs> <laughs> the bottom. So nothing was. Given to me every, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, you know, I'm what you call a slow bloomer, uh, you know, a late bloomer, you know, mm-hmm. nothing. I, I seem to, you know, I get it, but I don't always get it right away. So, um, but a lot of times, folks that come from the bottom appreciate it things when they get when the when the wealth and the the you know comes, they appreciate it more, and they tend to be. A lot more humble and want to help others, opposed to people that um, didn't come from that or weren't um, weren't really grounded, if you will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about you, Trevor? What do you think about that? Well, I, I think it's, I, I, I agree. I, I think there there are a few that you know there are a few you know that do change and get uh, start believing their own hype and such, but. You know, like, same here, where I come from, you know, the, the the area that I come from, the friends that I have, the family I have, they won't allow that. They won't, you know, if you could be as big as you want to be, but they're still going to knock you in the head if you if you mess up. So it, it's not it's not an option for me to be changing or be, you know, thinking I'm higher than mighty or, or, or thinking I'm better than somebody because at the same, as fast as you got it, it can be taken away from you even faster. That's right. So so you have to understand, and you can't take things for granted. You have to, you know, you have to be deep-rooted and, and on the ground, and have your feet on solid ground, because if you build your house, if you build your house on the sand, when the storm comes, it's going to wash it away. But if you build your house on rock and have that foundation, it won't blow away. So, you know, you have to be, you have to have your foundation. You have to have your family. You have to have your morals in check because, you know, like I said, as soon as you get it, it's as soon as it can be taken away. And when it's taken away, you, your fall 
probably will be harder than your rise. You know what I mean? So, it, 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 and it'll be it'll be easier for you to fall. I mean, than it would be for you to rise. So when you rise and you get that opportunity, you get that platform. You have to take full advantage of it. You have to be humble about it and and pull someone else up because somebody pulled you up, and you know nothing was given to me. You know, I, 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 I my, you know, I, I, my story goes on and on, but you know, I had to earn everything that I've get, that I've gotten, and I had to have support. You know, and my family and my my wife Naomi, she supports me. She showed she showed me a side of life that I needed. I needed to be grounded. I needed to be because at times you can get puffed up when you and when you're young. You know, you can get puffed up. You can think you know you're you're, you're bigger than you are. But if somebody, if, if there's always somebody there to let you know, look, <laughs> you're not all that. So, you know, I, I think I think a, a certain percentage do change, but for the most part, all, all the all the all my colleagues, all the people that I do do work with and have met along the way have been down to earth for the most part. So I would say a, a few do, do change, but for the most part, no. People stay. People people appreciate their opportunities. And, you know, I never thought about this till you two were talking about it. But when you say, you know, they have to be grounded and um, about most people don't change, I guess what I have to think is they probably stay the same. What I mean is if they come from the bottom, they remember where they were. Mm -hmm. But if they're all about themselves, then those are going to be the people that go down that I'm all that route. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So in a way that's not a change, that is how the person is sadly before they become good. famous. Right. Good point. Good point. Very good point. Mhm. Um so ski as you well know, I do volunteer work and have for over 12 years with high school students with disabilities about bullying. And mm-hmm. sadly, I have lost several of them, to what is referred to as bully side, where they're bullied Mm. so much, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, or in person, that they just can't deal with it anymore. So I wanted to talk to you because you yourself, as you mentioned, went through this. And for all those young people listening today that maybe are in that same situation, I know that you have their back, and I just wanted to see if you had any message for them. Well, one is never never give up. Remember, you're special. That's why you're here. You're special, and you have a purpose. I don't I don't care what your circumstance. You have a purpose. Mm-hmm. No matter what someone tells you or how much they want, you know, people want to pick on you and make you look, uh, uh, make you feel, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, look down on you and make you feel down because they that's how they lift themselves up. Because there, if you really look at it, if you really sit back and look, there, those people that do that are very insecure, mm-hmm. very weak. You know, and these are facts. I mean, it's hard. It's hard for you to see it as a teenager, um, but because I didn't see it. But a lot of those people that I, I mean, of course, now have weathered away like the, uh, <laughs> like like a like an old plant. But I mean, but th- people do that. Because they're insecure, and they need to make themselves feel better. And mm-hmm. unfortunately, uh, it's not good. And, and, and it's unfortunate they do stuff like that. So what, what, what I'm asking you to do is never give up. Always understand you have a purpose. You have a reason you're here. And you're special. Beautiful. How about you, Trevor? I would say keep... Keep on rising because the cream always rises to the top. And, you know, just because someone is picking on you or let or, or saying certain things about you or doing things, that means they have shortcomings of their own. And they see something in you that they might wish or want. To, or want. Even if you're a person with disability or not, it doesn't matter. There's always a spark. There's a spark in everyone because you have life. Life is a spark. Once you have that spark and it's, it's being 
it's, it's being seen by other people and 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 all over the, all, all over then they they, they want to take that because they don't have what you have so they they have that low self esteem they have that it's the issues with them but they try to lash out to you because you're in a weaker state physically maybe you know what i mean so they think they can yep. take advantage that's what it that's what it is it's because you're in a phys, you're physically a little bit weaker than they are so they they pounce but you're not saying it's not saying that you're weak. It's just your 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 disability has put you in a position that you're a little bit not as strong physically as someone else, and that they want to take advantage of you. But for real, but but but, on, but for real, the, the 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 real the real part of it, the real root of it, is their issue. They are they're the weak one because it's you know, how, I mean, what, what are you really going to get out of bullying somebody? You're not really gaining anything from it, really nothing. You go, what you're going to get popular, okay? And then the next bully comes along and bullies you. Then what? Then, then then where are you? So you have to. I would never, ever, 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 ever let someone affect me so much that I I, I would want to, you know, take my life because I can always make a difference. I can always each day that God gives you to allows you to wake up is a day that you can make a difference. And so I would just say, like, and, and to get back to what Ski was saying, I would never give up. Never. Never. It, yep. And, and you know, and I, you know, you know, know Ski, sorry, when you George were saying you. about um, that those people are gone now, you know, that made fun of you, I always tell young people with disabilities, if only they could see after they leave high school, and look back at these people that made fun of them or gave them a hard time, that they would say, what? I let them right. bother me? Right. Now, it's hard to know that when you're in the situation. It is. Mm-hmm. But it's a fact. It is. It's it a is. fact. It is. It is. You look at these people and, you, and you, you watch how they end up. You watch how they end up. I mean, you know, and... and and I mean, it's some other things I would tell you to do, but I won't. I won't tell you to do those things. But I mean, I because I don't like a bully. And Joyce, you know that I'm very passionate about bullying, or people, or anyone that takes advantage of somebody. Somebody, I don't like it. And, and, and I mean, I could be walking down the street if I see it. I, you know, I get involved. I, mm-hmm. I, I I just don't like it. But um, yeah, you watch how they end up. And hey, if you yep. just tuned in, we are talking to famous jazz saxophonist, saxophone player, Ski Johnson, three-time nominated Grammy, and vocalist Trevor Holland. How about that? Tell everyone you know about these two and what they're doing and about the famous Ski Johnson and what he's doing. Go to iTunes, download one of his CDs, because he is supporting us, we have to support him. And um, I know that you've got to have someone that impacted you, Ski. So I wanted to ask you, who was your role model? Um, teachers, or or um, I mean, to be honest, I, I rally because I was an underdog. I rally for anyone that that had a success story that 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 you know that 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 somehow came on top against the odds. You know, you know, so many people I met, you know, teachers that took me under their wings. You know, I did a lot of after school programs, theory classes. You know, I wasn't your typical. I was a shy kid because I was different, so I shied away from a lot of things. You know, and um, you know. Yeah, I, I didn't. A lot of things I didn't do in school. School participation, I didn't participate because I was different. So a lot of things I didn't, you know, I I missed out on because so because I I didn't want to be. I just didn't want to deal with the the repercussions of it. So um, my teachers were my role models. The people that took me aside and and said, you know what, I, I see something in you. You know, mm-hmm. I think I mean you, and they, and, you know, and and, and enroll me in all these after-school programs, and and these summer programs, these theory after theory classes, and and rehearsals, and different group band groups. 
you know, teachers, man, these teachers, you know. That's awesome. How about you, Trevor? Yeah, awesome. I would say um, as, a, as a child, my grandmother, you know, she was definitely my role model. She was, she was my rock. She was all I had, you know. And um, then when I got older, uh, I used to really, really, really uh, watch and, and, and study Michael Jackson. And because of, not just because of his art, but just, just how, you know, how how much he loved children and how much he, he cared about, you know, people. And, and, and it just really was an inspiration for me. And then later on, like I said, my children, my children have really given me, given me a, 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 a reason to, to, to do this. And so, but like I said, when I was young, coming up, you know, starting out, it was definitely my grandmother, Mary Holland, God rest her soul. She was, I mean, she was everything. She just, she just knew how to, you know, Joy. She just knew how to do it. You know what I mean? She just knew. Yep. She, she was, she was cool. She was strict. She was mean. She was nice. She was, you know, she was everything. You know, and, and, and all wrapped into one, and just, and was so much, and loved me so much. You know, just, I mean, she would show up at my school. I mean, I, I, you know, it, it was embarrassing when it was happening. <laughs> but, you know, at the time, you know, I just, she would make sure I was straight. And no one ever really gave me love like that except for my wife now. And she, she's the closest thing to my grandmother. So my role model now is, is my wife, Naomi. And, you know, she, she, she. You know, we, 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 we've gone through so much and just to see her smile and see to see the way that she carries herself, it's just an inspiration for me. So I would say, yeah, my grandmother and my wife. <laughs> yeah. Well, your grandmother sounds like someone that people should not have messed with. Oh, no, you can't mess with Mary Harlan. She didn't play. She didn't play at <laughs> all. It, 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 it was no joke. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. She sounds like a wise and a strong woman. Definitely, definitely. And that really does make such a difference in someone's life when they have someone like that. Well, I'll tell you what, the next question I have asked every single guest on the show for the past 11 years. And that question is, Ski, I'll start with you. Obviously, you have accomplished so much. I mean, here you are, famous saxophone player what would you say of everything that's ever happened to you in your life what would you consider your greatest accomplishment making my parents proud um you know you know i look you know other looking up to you know i looked up to teachers but i looked up to my parents as well and I, I guess my greatest accomplishment, my mother, a month before she passed, she died of cancer. We were, I, pulled, I was in D.C., and I had pulled my boat up to, um, and I took in the family on my boat, and we pulled up to Tony and Joe's in Georgetown. And we got off the boat, and my father had passed uh, maybe eight years ago to, at that point. And we pulled the boat over and got over. My mother said, you know, son, and my mother was one that really didn't talk and give compliments. I mean, she's very critical. but And I know it took a lot for her to say what she said, but she said, son, you know, you've really grown up to be a fine young man. At that point, nothing else mattered to me. Grammys, award, none of that mattered. What hmm. a great thing, huh? Only thing that mattered that I had pleased her. So that was, so, so <coughs> answer, that was my greatest accomplishment. I already met it. You know, everything that happens now is just, it happens. How about you, Trevor? I would say, I'm not because, you know, I, I see it any other way. I, I, I can't see my life without them. And, you know, to see them growing and becoming, you know, their own individuals. It's just like a, 
it's a dream come true for me. You know, I, you know, the music is is the gift. The music was 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 given to me, and but you know, I, for me to come together with the the, the 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 ladies that I have children with, I have two I have two uh, mothers, and my I have I have two children from a previous relationship, and then three with my my, my wife now. But we came together and we made some beautiful some beautiful babies. And I just, I, I love children. I love, I love kids. I love, you know, I love kids with disabilities because I have one. And, the, you know, from, from my son Rico to, to my, my youngest Isabella, I, I, I just, I'm in all of them. So I would say my children, I have to be honest, it's my kids. <laughs> wow. Well, you be, know what? That, that is what it is with both of you. Yeah. Family. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that something? Family. Yeah. It's fam- There's nothing like family. Nothing, nothing like right. family. Mm-hmm. Okay, last question before I ask my last question by Tony in Nebraska. Um, Ski, Trevor. Yes. I read about you, and you were going to be on the show. Here's my question. How much difference does it make when you come from the bottom up? It, it, uh, you want to go first, Key? Yeah, well, it makes all the difference because you can appreciate you can appreciate the you you can appreciate the 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 uh, fruits of your labor. Really appreciate it, knowing that it was never easy. You worked. It's the journey. It's it's the journey of it, man. Uh, you know, knowing we looking back and knowing where you come from and look where you are now. I mm-hmm. mean. I wouldn't. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. I wouldn't have it no other way. I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, I, it's, it's crazy you said that because just the other day, Ski and I was talking, and he looked at me. He had this look on his face, and he he just said, "Man, look at you, man. You know what I mean? Like, look at look look where you come from." And I just felt that it was just like, "Yeah, man. You know what a difference a year makes because you know I was." I don't know. I don't know where I would have been. You know what I mean? If I didn't get on this project. But when you come from the bottom, when you come from nowhere and end up everywhere, that is like it's magic. You know what I mean? It's it, it truly is magical, and you really, 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 extremely appreciate you know what's, what what you have because you didn't have it before, and then you look around. And now all this is go- is happening for you, and it's just like, wow, you know, what what, what 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 did I do? And you just have to be humble, and you have to be, I, I don't know, I just come from the bottom. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. I, I, you know, I've made mistakes, you know, in life and everything, and we all have. But at the same time, it's not the destination that's the key; it's the journey that's the key. It's how you get there, and what you who you meet along the way. And and the lessons you learn along the way that 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 stay with you, and you know the morals that your parents give you, you know you might not you might not appreciate them then because they're they're getting on your case, but when they're gone, you know what they say. What my I, my grandmother's voice rings in my head every day, every day, every day. And she's been gone for three years now, and I, I coming from the it's the best. It's the best. To, to 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 come from nothing and end up with everything that is just an amazing story to me, and you know everyone should feel that way because if it's given to you, I mean you know if you love everybody who just loves you, where's where's the joy in that? But if you love your enemy and you and you can turn somebody's life around, that's where the joy is. Oh, you, that you is so saying? true. That's where the yes, joy is. Yes, that is so true. Yeah, well, before we close the show, Ski, okay. what okay. message would you like to leave with our listeners today? Well, I would like to leave the message that, one, again, I want to reiterate, never give up. Never. Remember you're special. Remember you have a purpose. And, and most importantly, when I say I'm here for you, I'm here for you. My website is skijohnson.us, www.skijohnson.us. I mean, you can email me. Um, I'll email you back um, if you want to talk. Um, 
I mean, you know, people care. Don't mm-hmm. think for a minute people don't care. People yes, care people. about what you do, and they care about who you are, and they care about your future. Yes, we do. Well, you know what? I end every single show with a quote from someone that has impacted America or the world. And this person definitely had an impact, St. Augustine. And what he said to me fits so much these two guests today. It was pride that changed angels into devils. Uh It is humility that makes men as angels. And don't we yes, have indeed. two angels on the show today? Oh, wow. Thank you for that one. <laughs> that is beautiful. Hey, this is, this is Joyce Bender. I want to say before I go, go download Ski Johnson. Everyone, tell everyone about Ski Johnson everywhere, every place, because we want to support him. This is Joyce Bender, America's Voice, where disability matters at voiceamerica.com. Talk to you next week. Voice America would like to thank you for tuning in. Please join us next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific time for another installment of Disability Matters right here on the Internet Leader and Talk Radio, voiceamerica.com. Thanks again for listening to the preceding program brought to you on the Voice America Variety Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericavariety.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the preceding program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management.